Local governments in Japan are striving to achieve the country's 2050 carbon neutral declaration. For the sake of future generations, those of us living today bear a responsibility to face climate change with a sense of crisis. There is little time left. The number of zero carbon cities or local governments committing to achieving zero carbon emissions by 2050 has shot up to over 300, covering a total population of over 100 million. They are taking advantage of their local resources to start up various initiatives. With Japan's large forest cover, energy produced from the combustion of thinned wood emits less CO2 than fossil fuel. Manewa City is promoting wood biomass power plants, generating enough to power all of this city's households 1.3 times over. As unused wood biomass now has value, it can provide further incentive to care for and conserve forests. Offshore wind power is a promising way to generate electricity stably and efficiently. Japan is surrounded by deep waters, so in addition to turbines directly fixed to the sea floor, Japan is promoting floating offshore wind power, a unique technology. In Goto City, a wind farm with 10 turbines and tidal power generation facilities will be constructed by 2023. Yokohama, a major city with little potential for renewable energy, is partnering with outlying local governments that do have great potential, so they can supply the city with renewable energy, aiming to create a sustainable metropolitan model. The rapid growth of Japan's zero-carbon cities exemplifies the climate action we need this decade, as central and local governments are working hand-in-hand in, hand in the planning and local implementation of ambitious climate measures. The Japanese government is providing substantial soft and hard incentives to zero-carbon cities. The goal is to trigger a regional decarbonization domino effect.